So if you want FPS like this, Go ahead and follow this video for the best FPS in Call of Duty Black Ops 6 here. So my name is Cornell, I'm from Sense Quality, where we work with professional players and gamers to make sure that their gaming experience is the best through enhancing their PC via their FPS and their internet here. And I'm gonna show you the secret guide to getting the best settings here for your particular PC. Now, if you want more information, you can always visit SenseQuality.com where we got you covered with the best settings here for your PC and we'll do even more than what's in this video, but make sure you watch this full video here, especially towards the end because I'm going to show you a little secret tip to make sure that your settings stick for number one and number two, give you some scripts to maintain your PC's performance over time here. So make sure you watch a full video for that. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to load up Call of Duty here. And I'm gonna first show you the best settings for in game. And then I'm gonna show you the out of game config and exactly what you have to do for your out of game files here. All right, so we are finally in game here. So basically what we're gonna do now is we are gonna click on multiplayer here. And this is very important guys because you won't see this setting unless you click on this. You're gonna go to the little scroll ball wheel at the top right, which is the settings button. You're gonna go to account and network. And then you're going to go to clouded settings and you're going to turn that off. And basically, if you are on Xbox Game Pass, you're not going to be able to see the setting. So don't worry about it. But if you're on Battle.net or Steam, you want to make sure to turn this off because this is going to make sure that your settings stick to the settings that you see on this video today. Actually, before all of that, you're going to go ahead and restart your game at this point right now. That way, you're going to check after you restart that this clouded setting here is still off. That's very important, guys. You want to make sure after you restart that this clouded setting is off so all the settings that we do today is going to stick. And I'm going to show you the in-game settings first. You're going to want to play on full screen so you could get the most frames possible and then you're going to want to scroll down and make sure that you're on the right resolution that's very important guys now in video reflex low latency i would put this on on that way your gpu is going to work a little harder to get you more fps there and then custom frame rate i would come down here and put it on custom i would put the gameplay custom frame rate to whatever your monitor is mine is 300 plus 360 hertz so basically i should leave this on unlimited but if you're under 300 hertz here you should put your monitor's hertz rate right here you should put the menu to 60 and you should put the out of focus to 30 and the reason why you're doing this is that way when you're in the menu your pc is not heating up and that way you'll get more performance in your game here so that's very important and then you could pause game rendering here on and when inactive to 10 minutes. I would actually put this to five minutes when you're inactive. That way your PC is not heating up when you leave your PC out for a minute here, which is pretty awesome. And then what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down here and you're going to turn off HDR and you're going to come over here to quality settings. Now in quality settings, you want to make sure that your render resolution is at 100. You want to make sure that your upscaling is fidelity cast and you could go ahead and set this to 100 here or this is personal preference. You could set this to what you you like in general here dlss frame rate generation i would only use this if you're getting under 100 fps and basically this is good for laptops and stuff like that with an nvidia graphics card but if you don't have a laptop i would generally not use this because this actually adds latency and adds fps i know that sounds weird but you don't want added latency onto your game that means you're seeing your enemy a little bit less faster than when you would usually see them so you want this completely off here v skill target this could be anywhere from 80 to 90 let's say you're getting any kind of dev error, scanner repairs anything like that you would put this to 80. Now, if you're not getting any dev errors, go ahead and put it to 90, put it up. That way your PC is utilizing more of your GPU and you should be good there. Now, the next thing that you're gonna do is you are going to click on variable rate shading. You're gonna make sure that that's on. This is very important. This will boost your FPS automatically here. And then you're gonna copy these settings here. Texture resolution, very low. Anatropic, we're gonna get into that. You're gonna see why this is blank here. Keep watching the video for that one. Depth of field. This is off, detail quality, low, very low. And let me pause right here. If you like quality, 
right? You're going to turn the texture resolution to normal or high. If you like performance, that's when you turn the texture resolution to very low here. So if you're more of someone who enjoys their game, doesn't really care about how the game really like looks in general, and you're more towards performance, you would go very low. If you like how the game looks and you want to see more visually, you would put it at high or normal. And if you have a better graphics card, you could go up higher. So if you have a 4090, you might as well put it at high there and enjoy your 4090 there. We're going to go to particle resolution. Resolution very low. Will it impacts off persistent effects off shader quality low on demand texture streaming? This should be minimal here and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go show more here you're gonna go to allocated texture cache size you're gonna put this on 32 right and then you're gonna click on a download limit you're gonna turn this on and you're gonna put one gigabyte per day that way your game doesn't feel clunky all day and it's not downloading stuff all day here and it's not going to activate that bottleneck on your internet and your internet's gonna feel a little bit better and your bullet registration is gonna feel better now what you're gonna do is go to local texture streaming quality you can put this on normal here low i tested it doesn't really Make that much of a difference shadow quality very low screen space shadows off occlusions off space reflection off static reflection low tessellation off volumetric low deferred physics off weather grid off water quality off there then you're gonna go ahead and press apply settings there now we're at view here so basically for this one field of view this depends on if you're on console or if you're on PC of course all of you guys watching are on PC here so basically on PC if you're using a mouse and keyboard you want this on 120 okay but now let's say you're using a controller from the professional players that we've worked with a lot of them are only using from 103 to 107 there some may use 120 but i'm just letting you know as an insider secret that a lot of them are using 103 to 107 because they believe that they are getting more consistent aim assist with the lower fov there so as long as it's under 107 you should be good on controller now on mouse and keyboard this doesn't matter but if you're on controller definitely look to get lower than 107 on your fov and try it out and if it doesn't work for you it doesn't work for you that's fine so now you're going to just copy all these settings here this is perfectly fine there camera movement you want this at 50 and third person camera movement at 50 here inverted flashbangs please turn this on save your eyes there and that should be good now you're going to go to interface you're going to go to telemetry and you want your fps counter on you want your packet loss counter on and you want your gpu temperature on and that's really all you have to worry about there don't have to worry about the rest of them here now we're going to go into the nitty gritty settings. So you're going to have to stick with me here. So I'm going to leave a link to where you could download all these files that I'm providing you below, but we're going to really have to go through these settings one by one here. So basically the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go into the config folder here. So the way you do that is you're going to go to your documents and then you're going to go to call of duty layers, and then you'll see this config folder right here. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to delete all of these S point one files go ahead and delete all of them right and then you're going to copy the s.1 file that i provided you in the link below the google drive right and you're going to paste it into this players folder what does that do that changes all your settings here for you and basically gives you the best settings for call of duty on top of what we just did there now let's go through this one by one just to make sure that you have the best settings here as you can see i would say if you go into this folder you would go to gpu you would search for gpu and the only setting you would want to make sure of after you open the game is you want to make sure that the gpu heap i would just search for gpu heap is true that way resize bar is actually on there and then you would scroll all the way down until you see where it says render worker count now with your render worker count you would want this to match your actual course so the way that you actually see your course is right click here you would go to task manager you would go to cpu after performance then cpu and then you would see your cores here now you do not want to use over eight cores here so for example for me what i would want to do is i would want to set this to eight cores here so i would just set this to eight and then i would be good there so if you have less than eight cores or eight cores you could set it to seven or lower if you have more than eight cores you would set it to eight cores there so that should be good right there and then all the rest of the settings should be already taken care of for you you don't even have to worry about it. If you are on Xbox Game Pass, this is the settings that you have to worry about. Texture, memory, mode, extra large. GPU heap, true. That means sure your resize bars on. Texture filter quality, anatropic 
2. Static Sun Shadow, 256 for this one. Reflection Pro of Half Resolution, true. Persistent Damage, False. Corpse Culling, 0.5. User Preferred Anti-Aliasing Technique, SMAA. Corpse Limit, 0. And the big one, this is what a lot of people get wrong, guys. Make sure that you follow this one. Blood Limit, true. Blood Limit Interval, you want it at 2,000. You don't want this at 1 because basically it's going to update every one millisecond you want it at two seconds so it updates every 2000 milliseconds that way it's a little slower so that should be good there and those are the main settings if you want xbox game pass or if you wanted to just do it manually that you would have to worry about there now we're gonna go to the best windows settings here and basically remember that drive link that i showed you guys earlier you would just open that up and basically i'll show you what to do real quick so if you see here you would go to best window settings and then you would just run all of these just to make sure that your pc is fully taken care of the mouse and keyboard dot bat make sure if you're on mouse and keyboard that your mouse and keyboard is reacting as quick as possible soqtings.reg what that makes sure is is that your gpu is prioritized already taken care of for you don't have to do much i already did all the work for you guys don't have to worry about it visuals.bat if you're a content creator i wouldn't run this one if you're not a content creator run this this will save you some fps here because it'll make sure that the rendering for your natural windows is lower so the in-game resources for your gpu is actually more available for you so that should be good windows debloat go ahead and run that as an administrator and that will make sure that you have more fps there and make sure that all your game modes and everything is set up here now if you're on an nvidia gpu this is what you would do. You would go over to NVIDIA things, right? NVIDIA Profile Inspector. I already have everything done for you here. So once you see that, you would go ahead and download that. And let me show you exactly what you would do with that here. So as you see, I have the file here. I'll just go ahead and open up NVIDIA Inspector. And this is the best settings for B06 for your particular NVIDIA GPU here. You would just go ahead and click here, import profile. And then you would import the B06 settings. Go ahead and open that. All right. And as you see, my screen went black. Go ahead and press apply settings. And that will change all your settings to make sure that all your NVIDIA control panel setting or set up for the max fps possible now let's go to the nvidia control panel for the best nvidia colors you would come over here you would click on your main monitor right and you would put the brightness to 55 you would put the contrast to 55 you would put the digital vibrance to 75 and then i would actually put 65 for this particular game because it is very vibrant then i would press apply and then you should be good there and that is going to be the best nvidia panel setting now what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and go back to the instance quality folder that i provided you and we're going to go into the controller and you're going to go into drivers and i'm going to show you exactly how to overclock your controller here so basically if you downloaded that file you should see setup exe here you're going to go ahead and run this as an administrator you're going to go ahead and press all here for your devices and then if you scroll down you're going to find your controller right you're going to press filter on device you're going to press 1000 and then you're going to press install service and that will make sure that your controller is fully overclocked once you restart your pc now before you restart your pc if you're having issues with your controller overclock you're going to come over here to controller system dot bat and you're going to run that as an administrator that just makes sure that you can restart and you can overclock your controller without disabling secure boot which is absolutely perfect there and then boom you're going to have way less delay and way more fps by those settings right there now that should be everything and you can check out all the settings that i have for you in here the last secret setting to make sure that your fps is fully taken care of is this clean dot bat here you're just gonna go ahead and run that as an administrator what that does is it cleans out all the temporary files on your pc and does some other things here just to make sure that your pc is fully taken care of and it's always maintained here so you can always maintain your fps unless there's a call of duty update and the second one is going to be the custom window dot reg here you're going to go ahead and run that and go ahead and do a system restore before you run this one and basically what this does is it makes sure that you have a gaming windows so that way you can get even more fps and if you want even more fps after all of that that i just showed you go ahead and visit sensequality.com here where we can get you the best fps possible and if we can't increase your fps 
you can get your money back here. We worked with all the professional gamers and professional content creators that you have heard of, and we could definitely get you the best FPS and the best performance for your game. If you want your game to feel smooth as butter and you want to see your enemy before they see you, definitely visit our website here and we can guarantee that you get the best out of your game here. Well, I hope this helps. My name's Cornell from Sense Quality, and let me know down in the description what other videos that you would like to see, or let me know if you have any other questions about anything that I showed you today, but go ahead and like this video. Don't forget to subscribe for the other video that I'll show you for more FPS. And I hope this helps. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Take care, guys.